This is a PN Daily English News Service brought to you by Khan Press Network today, 2nd of December 2016. As for me, you are a daily host, Sajid Salal, saying Salaam Alaikum Warahmatullah. Headlines from APN. A Rohingya woman said to Bangladesh government, please don't push me back to Myanmar again. UN advisor arch member government regarding mass killing of Rohingya. News in detail. Myanmar brutal forces have still been conducting all kind of atrocities such as killing, raping women, slaughtering and burning people alive since the attack of border guard police by self-defense in Mangdo, northern Rathiram of Afghanistan, state, Myanmar on 9th of October 2016. The escalation of intense violence of Burmese government forces against Rohingya people in the Mongol forcing the village of Lee to neighboring Bangladesh on Wednesday, 30 November the 2016, the 30 member of Rohingya, including children, entered Bangladesh in cooperation of boatmen of Myanmar Rice site. On Thursday morning, they reached Leda, unregistered Rohingya refugee camp of Technaf, Kapsis Bazaar, they are in the camp, a 60-year-old woman of the batch hailed from Puang Khali of Mangdo said, kill me here rather than pushing me back to Burmese again, side because the Burmese army sexually abused many women before eyes in my village. Besides, they also killed about 50 Rohingya men, including children, by shooting and slaughtering alive. Furthermore, my two sons, Abdul Salam and Lalmiya, were also killed by burning in fire. One expressing such sorrow, her tear could not stop and run down her over her face. Anyhow, I, along with my younger son, Nur Salam, entered Bangladesh to escape further persecution of Myanmar brutal army. The United Nations Special Advisor on the Prevention of Genocide, Adama Dieng, expressed alarm at report of the deteriorating security, human rights, and humanitarian situation in northern Rakhine State, Myanmar, following attack by armed assailants against border security post in October 2016. The response of the military has reportedly been characterized by excessive use of force and other serious human rights violations against civilian population, particularly the Rohingya Muslim population, including allegation of extrajudicial extortion, torture, rape, and the destruction of the religious property. This allegation must be verified as a matter of urgency, stated Adama Dieng. If they are true, the lives of thousands of people are at risk. The reputation of Myanmar, its new government and its military forces is also at stake in this matter. The special advisors trust that the current situation restriction on access to northern Khan state which prevent verification of the allegation are contributing to suspicious and alarm. Denying the allegation without allowing for their verification is counterproductive, Mr. Ting urged the Myanmar government and the military to a hit request by the United Nations and many others around the world to authorize access and, and immediate the and through independent investigation into incident reported in Northern Rakhine State since October 2016. If the allegations are found to be true, the government must take immediate steps to stop them, prevent further violation, and remedy the situation. Those found responsible for human rights violation must be punished. Failure to do so will only increase the risks of very serious international crimes that Myanmar has an obligation to prevent and punish another international law. Adama Dieng reminded the new government of Myanmar, of the trust government of Myanmar, placed in the government by the international community as a Myanmar transition to democracy, nothing that there have been significant step forward in that regard. However, the special advisor underlined that Myanmar need to demonstrate its commitment to the rule of law and to the human rights of the, all its population. It cannot expect that the such serious allegations are ignored or go unrestricted. However, 
and whenever these type of allegations are reported in the world, it is the duty of the international community to remind state of their responsibility so that population and the obligation under international law. Myanmar is in no exception. Adam Adin also took the opportunity to urge the Myanmar government, to, uh, the ba Bangladesh government, not to close its border to refugees fleeing Myanmar, closing the border, deporting refugees, or failing to provide assistance, expose those population to further violence that could, in the worst case, constitute international crimes, the special advisor warned. The Adamadian concluded by saying that the current violence did not come out of the thin air. It is taking place against the background of very deeply rooted discrimination against the specific sector of the population and a failure to put in place conditions that would support peaceful existence among the different communities in Rakhine State. So, this is for today from APN English News Service. I'm your host, Mr. Sajid Jalal Singh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more updates.